Hi. Nice to see you. <laughs> I watch you on TV. Oh yeah. <laughs> Hope it's not too boring. Please help me. How are you, man? It's like a reunion day. Good radio. You didn't know I'm an interviewer. Oh, okay. Good, man. Good. Good to see you. Yeah. You alright? I'm alright. Cool, man. Alright. Follow QPR, man. Okay. That's a bit oh, dodge. I know. It's a dodgy thing, isn't it? <laughs> there we go. Is it all right? yeah. Are Do you it. all right? Yes, I am. You're not very calm right now, are you? Here we go. Three, two, one. Announcing the arrival of Tansri Tony Fernandez has arrived in the studio right now where Rod and I. Tansri, please get to the table. Please get to the mic. Thank you. You're late. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning, Flav. Good morning, how are you? First of all, I'm walking out with your Ferrari headphones. Oh, oh I'm so sorry, you think Roger you think it off. Rod, you just off. messed everything up for us. Yes, exactly. I'm going to get a goddamn head headphone soon enough. How are you doing? Good, good. Good to be here. It's been a while since I've Should been Should we now. call you Tansri or Tony? You no, tell us. Tony. Okay, just Tony. Let's start by congratulating you on a new apprentice. Yes. Yeah, fantastic. I actually watched the show Yeah. Uh, live. Okay. And... Uh, <laughs> Yeah, How is he? Good. He's a good boy. He's Did you make the boy. right choice? You know, we'll see in time. But I mean, um, <laughs> okay. you know, I've been lucky with people so far, picking yeah. the right people. That's how Air Asia is where it is. We've got great people. Yeah. And uh, Jonathan is driven. Yes. Mm -hmm. Smart. Yep. He is, isn't he? he? He really is a confident guy. You see the way he speaks publicly. Yeah. Yes. You know, my first so, question was going to be, why Jonathan? Cancel that. Because after I watched the show last night and yeah, how he's handling himself. He was he a natural, it. wasn't he? Yeah, he was he a natural. Was. Uh, why, why a Filipino and not a Malaysian overall at the end of it, Tony? Come on. No, you got to pick who was best, and uh, yeah. he was the best. Yeah. You know, for the moment I saw him, actually, he struck me. Yeah. And you know, I wasn't sure whether it was all put on, whether it was real. Yeah. But this boy's driven. He's got internal fire. Is he fire. like that? Is yeah. he really like he's, that? He's really like Cause that. Because when he speaks, he's so and he know there's no mistakes. The only thing that went flying was a hammer, of course. Yeah. But he yeah. is just so confident. Yeah. Well, you know, they're obviously things that we want to work around. But uh, he's okay. got a big future ahead of him. Yeah. yeah. But that would be my next question. That probably was the longest interview session you've ever, ever had. Yeah, you're absolutely <laughs> right. <laughs> Does it take that long for you to spot talent? No. <laughs> there you um, go. Hello, come on. Look, he's looking at us. He came in. Look at Tony's eyes looking at us, I, Rod. Can't you tell? I, I picked Sarima before anyone knew her. Thank you! Oh, okay. And you made the right decision. 11 years ago? Uh, 14. 14, 14 years, years ago. ago. How there mad is that? Is that the, and that I'm still the last thing, Tony. You did the right thing. <laughs> that, was that a mistake? Do you regret picking? Not at all. <laughs> <laughs> Risen to, to being your co host. Or is it the other way around? No, I am. The who's, other way around. Who's the more powerful person uh, in this room? Do you have to ask that it's the question? man, Tony. It's the, the man woman runs. that calls the shots. No, it's Actually, the man. Leading to my question who calls the shots better, women or men? I think in AirAsia, women do. Most Stop. definitely. Really? Most See? definitely. Okay. Yeah, there are about 3,000 cabin crew, so a little bit in the uh, minority. That's but. true. Rod, you're going to have to join cabin crew if you want to call the shots, okay? No worries. Hang in there, Tony. I'm going to ask you the secret to your empire. Mm. Will you share that? That's coming up next on Mix. Here we go. Here we go. Just make sure that mic stays like that. <laughs> it's a nightmare. The Mix Breakfast with Sarima and Rod Yay. this morning. Very proud to have Tansri, Tony Fernandez in the studio. Correct. I did say I wanted the secret to your empire. I know you never asked a magician that, the secret, right? Yeah. But yeah. would you share a little bit of that? Because yeah. I'm a, I'm a the fan. Secret, the, like secret, a the secret recipe. is um, good people, you know. Okay. We surround ourselves with great people. Mm. Um, you asked a question earlier about talent. That's right. You know, I've been lucky and blessed to meet great people. I make decisions fairly quickly. You know, you meet someone. I don't, I really interview five, ten minutes. Most of the time it's been good, there have been some disasters, right? yeah. but most of the time it's been good. And if we have good people around there, and obviously have a business that people want. Yeah. Because uh, you can spot uh, talent in the first five minutes. Yeah. Less I think, than that, I probably. Think it, I think it, you can feel it. Yeah. You can see it. And my job really is to turn a, a raw diamond into a diamond. You right. know, in Jonathan's case, he's halfway there. And okay. uh, he could go very, very far, but you yeah. still got to polish it and make him the uh, finished product. Right. Okay. He spotted talent, Rod. Do you have to ask any more questions? Tony's the one who I still remember me. the uh, first interview we had. Right. Was that a long one? 
No, right. I wasn't. Because she would uh, go on and on and on and on. Yeah, we, I had, I, even then, <laughs> and she says 14 years ago, I had to cut her short. <laughs> yeah. 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 Did she let you uh, cut her short though? Yeah, yeah, she did the job. I got, I got, I got, listen, she I was still the, listen then. I was the first person that got told you're hired, okay? Thank yeah, you very much. You were. Um, just, just, um. So really 14 years ago? Yeah, oh my goodness. 14 years. We're actually slightly old, it's a nightmare. Yeah. But it's okay, we look young. Um, asking you, you know, compared to the original show itself, The Apprentice, I mean, whenever people think about The Apprentice, they think of Donald Trump. Mm. How do you think you fared compared to him? Did you do better? Oh, I don't your hairstyle know. is better. That's, that's really up. Your hair is much better. We that's have to really admit. up to the public to tell. I don't know. I just, right. I was a little bit not myself at the beginning. Okay. You know, they they wanted to be a bit harder towards the end. I just became more myself. Softened up. Um, but uh, I initially turned down the show many times because. I said I wasn't a Donald Trump, I wasn't Alan right. Sugar, uh, but they said no, no, they kept coming back to me and in the end they said, look, they never take no for an answer, which yeah. is kind of my That's right. Go. That's right. And I had to say, okay, I'll do it, but you've got to let me be more myself, yeah. and they did. At the start of the show, mm. were you nervous? Is that no, nervous? No? No, I think I've been through too much in my life. Were you ever yeah. nervous? I'm nervous now, being interviewed by you. You should be. Uh, you should be. A compliment. With a ridiculous <laughs> Ferrari headphones. Oh, See? There you go again. Why did you wear them? I'll this take is... it out. <laughs> I'll take it out. I'm throw it away. So what's worse, the tattoo or the Ferrari? Oh, oh you know what? I, I, I rest my case. I'm just going to sit back and watch this show <laughs> today. It. You know, let me tell you something. I'll never get hired. Tony, what what if you I made next, what yeah. what if you made the wrong decision with Jonathan? What are you going to do? Are there any other apprentices that caught your eye? No, they're, they're, well, I haven't made the wrong decision with Jonathan. I'm pretty sure I went yeah. through a 11 week process, and yeah. I had Mark and Kathleen, who I've known for a long, exactly. long time. You know, they spent much more time than I did with, with these them. guys. They saw them at each event. I never did that. Yeah, right. So I'm pretty sure we've got the right. You trust person. them. But there are two or three other guys that and girls that have. Uh, struck me Brilliant. and uh, I'll leave it today as Jonathan's day but we hired okay. one already oh. and there are a couple more we're looking at for okay. various parts of the business. Hold on to that thought. Can I find out the name in just a bit? No you won't. Today we'll leave it for Jonathan. Of course not going to tell. Today's Jonathan's Darn day to shine. <laughs> yeah. want to ask you about us actually when we come back don't we rod no it's yes, you who do. wanna ask no you, you just got it bad from there tony you about your headphones and stuff so yeah, just, I, what's the song i'm out of just any company song. with tony fernandez i know that so i'm not stupid i gotta it's ask you right now <laughs> so, but more of that next on mix the mix breakfast with sarima and rod we've got tony fernandez in the studio who has a new apprentice yes wow jonathan yeah he man. starts on the 15th of august okay looking forward to it there's so many things i want to do with him yeah. When um, you say he starts, right, what does that mean? Like, what, what will your apprentice do? Well, first of all, I'm going to just have him follow me around. I'm going to get cool. him to be a cabin crew for a bit. Right. Lovely. I'm going to get him to carry bags. Yep. Um, know the business. Ground know the business. Oh. I mean, you know, most leaders never get down to the ground. Yeah. Sure. Uh, when I started at Erasure, I, I was a steward once a week. I carried bags. Right. Uh, Can you imagine? Every, every month. Yeah. And the worst job is checking actually, and I was really bad at it, so I did that okay. once every three months. Really? But the, the reason I did it was for two reasons. One, you can't be an effective leader unless you get down to the ground and know exactly what's going on. Right. Mm. And two, I wanted to find talent. Mm. You know, we've got boys and girls who are carrying bags for us, who are now pilots. Yeah. People in the call center who've become senior managers. There you uh, go. Wow. Cabin crew who've become CEOs. That's yeah. the beauty yeah. of AirAsia. That, Anything is possible. Yeah. Evolution yeah. is very yeah. possible yeah, within your You can do whatever you want. It doesn't matter whether you went to Oxford or Cambridge or whatever. You yeah. see, some people, are like just now, you asked about Donald Trump and everything. Now, Donald Trump has the Trump Tower. Mm. Will there be a Fernandez Tower? Or maybe yeah. Pondo Fernandez? <laughs> How's that? But funny, you know, we were talking about a tune building the other day. Yes. Ah, you so, uh, I leave that to Kamerudin. I'm not into <laughs> towers or buildings. But, uh, yeah. The, the cost of rent now, it might be better to build something. But yes, I think so. So you were, you, you know, you were mentioning earlier about spotting talent, right? And um, you've been doing this for so long, and everybody knows your history. Everyone's a big fan. We're all so proud of you, of course, as well. Um, when you're spotting talent, I mean, clearly you've walked into the studio. Oh no, Basically, yeah, she goes. let's just get down to the okay. dirt right now, okay? It's gonna Rob sat the there and enjoy the ride. Here. here we go. How how do you spot a talent and say this person right right here needs to be part of the Air Asia family? I think number one, uh, sincerity. Mm -hmm. A lot of people will say things. Fake it. Yeah. 
Well, I'm very sincere. You're Rod, don't down, like you. You're going down dangerous ground here. Number two is uh, passion. Right. You. That's the main thing that I look for. You know, are they really hungry? Do they really want to do something? I'm special? hungry right now. Do they really want to? They really want to go out there and be someone different, right? You how have one, you you have one how, life, right? Yes. How would you, how would you know that passion? You know, the how way, would you spot that? The way they speak, the right? way you know, the way the fire in the eyes. Jonathan's fire in his eyes. Yes, he does. Especially in the boardroom, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. I mean, you can prepare yourself, but you can't prepare yourself. Yes. It has to come out naturally. It's like from the soul, yeah. isn't so, it? So when you talk to someone, you know whether they they really have that fire. What's yeah. their more biggest motivation? Mm. Is it to succeed in the career? Is it money? Is it just Personal. position, etc.? You can find that out within five or six mm -hmm. minutes. So yeah. when you met them all then for the first time, did you look around the board like you said the first time you saw Jonathan and go, okay, right, you can kind of tell like these five, mm, these six got got whole yeah, blood. Pretty right? quickly, yeah. pretty quickly you work it out. Ah, pretty interesting. Quickly. So with Rod and I, who would you hire? <clears throat> I got fired already with my stupid headphones. You got a different type of fire. Everything fire else, I got them. fired. Look. I just found out you're Singaporean as well. Oh! <laughs> Ferrari <laughs> headphones, tattoo, and Singaporean. Seriously, Rod, I think you need to walk out now. Oh, okay, just let okay. us be here. Let me hear it. Let me hear it. Go, go on, on, then. Go on. Either you're hired or you're fired, Tony. Do it. Go for it. End of the segment, I'll decide. Oh, yeah! <laughs> oh, no. We're having an interview. <laughs> Speaking of which, this I'm glad you brought up speed. Yes. You like speed and everything. Of course it does. We've got a game for you with speed. You're right. ready for it. Okay. Don't ask if you're ready. He's the man. He's ready for anything. <laughs> no, he looks like he's going to run thing. out the door now. That's coming up next on Mix. <laughs>